What is up YouTube? Welcome back to Work Knife Balance. We have a fun, fast video for y'all today. We're gonna do a quick review on the Remet Peacock, but before we get too far into it, I just wanna go ahead and say thank you to anybody who's already liked and subscribed to our channel. If you haven't, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below or the little logo in the corner, and that'll subscribe to our channel. We're gonna to continue to make content, so we'd love for you to see it. And as always, head over to Instagram and follow us at Work Knife Balance 939 it's a great way to get in contact with us, talk to us, let us know what you wanna see, what you don't wanna see, what you like, what you don't like. And if you've got any knives you wanna to send to us for a review, you can do that. We'll go ahead and send them back after the review's done and we'll send you one of these sweet stickers that we had made. So yeah, I am really excited to dive into this knife. That's why y'all are here. This is the Remet Peacock. This one was actually given to me um, from another YouTuber. I went ahead and bought a knife off of him from uh, Just The Tip EDC. And so I got the Devo stop from him and this one has is kind of a grill knife for me. I wasn't able to get it when they originally came out and I'd been searching and searching and looking. So when I saw this popped up and saw it was just a tip, reached out, he said, yes, I'll sell it to you, no problem. He got it all boxed up and sent over. And then as a little bonus, he sent this Remet over with me that he got over. So uh, thank you to him for that. Go check out his channel. He's absolutely fantastic. Got some sweet stuff in there. So this is the one he sent over, but I have one here that I purchased off Amazon. These knives are only available on Amazon to my knowledge at the time of this recording, but uh, they're absolutely fantastic. They come in at just about 30 bucks. I think they're $33 and occasionally you'll see little deals on them. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what we got inside. I did get the pink version of this one. So it comes in a, a pink, a black and a blue. And uh, as we go through this, I'll show you kind of why I got the pink and what my thoughts are here. But First impressions, you got a fantastic little case. Looks like it comes with a, ooh, that fell right out of there. Oh, that's nice. Comes with a sweet little tool. Looks like you got a T6 and a T8 on that tool. And then a nice little cleaning cloth case. And here is the knife. I know Nathan had to, tune his up a little bit because it was a little stiff. So yeah, that one's not dropping quite as well as the one that he sent over, but um, it still is super smooth, opens up really nice. Yeah, reverse flick, thumb flick, back flipper. That works out really well. That's actually, I mean, that whips out there pretty really nice for what it is. Uh, for a $30 knife, that's not bad at all. So you got a nice satin finish on the blade there. A sweet little drop point edge to it. Small, slight drop there with the swedge coming down here. I believe they're using 9CR, yeah, right there. 9CR18 MOV steel. So it is a budget knife with some budget steel in there. It's not bad by any means. This is a fantastic beater knife. They claim ambidextrous on, I was reading on YouTube, but you can't actually flip the I mean, maybe I'm not, yeah. They claim ambidextrous on it, but you can't put the clip on the other side, so I wouldn't put this in my left pocket necessarily all the time. Um, just because I have had people who've had a knife like this in their left pocket, it's gonna be on this side. Knife accidentally opens up, you stick your hand in there and it doesn't work. The reason you put this on the right side is because it opens into your pocket, so it won't actually open, gives you just that extra protection there. Um, and to the best of my knowledge, that is why it is a right carry versus a left carry. Um, but yeah, you do have an inset liner lock on this, so that is fantastic. Kind of slims it down a little bit, so you've got a good profile to it. This is an FRN handle, so it's not a G10, it's an FRN, which I think cuts down on the weight some. I believe G10 is a little heavier and it's just a different material. I really like the texturing that they put on this right here. Um, so yeah, looks like you've probably got a D-shape pivot in there because there's nothing on this side. So you've only got the one to open it, which is nice. I hate when budget knives use a free spinning pivot or they use free spinning stuff in there because I don't know if it's cheaper or whatnot, but then you've got to have two tools to actually get in and open up and look at stuff. So that's really nice to have that in there. Really nice backspacer on this too, comes up pretty far. This is the reason I got the pink one. What my plan to do is I'm gonna take this pink backspacer and put it in here and put the blue backspacer in here. And then we'll have a his and hers knives for me and my wife because this is one that she was able to open really easily. And she's not the biggest knife person. 
So the fact that she was able to get it open and liked it um, quite a bit um, made it so this is gonna be a nice easy budget knife for her just to carry around and have as well. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get a couple measurements real quick while we've got this out. Overall measurement, we are looking at about seven and a half inches. Blade, we're looking just under three and a quarter, just about three and a quarter for the blade. Cutting edge, we're looking at, mm, I'd say 3.15. So a little bit less than the blade, not too much. You do have a nice sharpening trail there. So you've got enough room to sharpen and get up on it there. No room to choke up for a finger choil at all, but it does have good ergo. I mean, your, your hand's not going anywhere. You have this deep little ramp in here, so you're, it holds your fingers in really nice. Um, you do have good jimping on the back here, so that's a really nice set for it right here. Let's see, really no blade play up or down, side to side at all, so that's good to see as well. And I like these thumb studs. They're, you've got just enough into them so you can get around and they're, yeah. It, it's not like just a little dot, it's a little bit more than that as well. So good overall. This one comes, wow, pretty centered, nice. I like that quite a bit for 33 bucks, that's not bad. Not necessarily, I mean, you have a deep carry clip, but it's not a deep carry because you've got a little bit of that sticking out just because the way that the handle is shaped there. I do really kind of like the shape of quite a bit actually i i do like drop points a lot more than other it's probably my favorite blade style i don't know i switch back and forth between drop point and a sheep's foot for my favorite blade style so um i really like this one here you don't have a straight back but you have a really clean edge as it's i mean it's straight but it's on a it's on an angle it's on an incline it's got a degree of drop as it comes through here and i like the way it looks and just kind of like swoops through there personally so this is a a really nice good ergo knife nice jimping on the back good holds got front and back carry that's a little small that's kind of a little small with the thumb right over there because there's really nowhere to give you that extra grip there, but not bad. Let's do some side-by-side -side comparisons real quick as we start to wrap this bad boy up. Let's see, Ontario Rat 1, obviously a bigger knife there. Ontario Rat 2, it's gonna be closer to the Rat 2, larger than it, but closer to the Rat 2. So I would say this is a small full-size knife. It's not necessarily a big knife by any means, um, but it's not gonna be compact like the Rat 2 size there. So there's the Paramilitary 2 for you from Spyderco. And here is the Para 3. That's actually a pretty good comparison with the Para 3 right there. So you've got something that's a little bit in that small full size. If you've got a large hand, this is probably gonna be large or small for you. But yeah, side by side with that Para 3 there. The Para 3 is going to stick out a little bit more, obviously, on the girth side right there. But they are pretty, pretty close there. And almost dead on in how they are there. Go butt to butt with the clips. You can kind of see they're going to be... Carry comparison is going to be really close in pocket to that Para 3 there. So 30 bucks. I don't think you can go wrong with this. I know there have been some people who've had some reviews on how they were returned or had to had to work with them. I, I wanted to get one for myself because the one that I got was already kind of, it had been taken apart, opened up, and it was, I mean, it is, this is very smooth. You can see that just kind of drops in there as well. So he did a really good job at tuning this knife up and getting it ready. I think I'm probably literally just going to have to take this apart, add some oil to it, maybe clean out that pivot area some, and you'll probably have the, the same action. But for $33, you have 9CR18 OOV, good steel for a budget knife, uh, dead centered on it, good action the way it slips out, a good detent too. You can, uh, yeah, I mean, you can see how it just kind of snaps in there like that. That's what you want to see. And that is fantastic for a $33 knife. So thank you, Nathan, for sending the blue one over. I'm absolutely stoked at the pink one. I highly recommend this knife if you're looking for a good beater budget. You can get the black, the blue, or the pink. Um, we'll go ahead and put links below. As always, those links do support our channel, so we greatly appreciate it when you use them. But if you don't want to, 
that's not going to hurt our feelings any bit at all. So thank you very much. Until next time, TTFN.